You're listening to KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online around the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, and Kyle Kraft is in the studios with us. Welcome. Thanks for having us. We are loving the album Dolls of Highland, and I am excited to hear you play some of those songs live today.
every time the notes fall flat your face is made your bags are packed you were leaving before you were even gone i spent lost years in the ring with fighting love now everything that came before my wicked plea and your dreams of war they hit me quick they made me sore they taught me swinging hard Just don't burn me going down Not like it did when we were young It felt like fire across our tongues Just like love that all went numb And the sweetest feelings found their own way out So you sent me on my way with cheap red wine A bouquet of dead flowers and a thirst for twisted But you ain't mine You're free, babe So very free, babe So am I Oh, so am I Oh, so am I Kyle Craft live on KEXP That sounds wonderful You guys sound great together Thanks I love the new album, Dolls of Highland, and this is my first time hearing you play these songs live, and again, they just sound great. Well, glad you dig it. It's mostly these guys. Yeah. <laughs> you all sound great together. Well, well thank you. You want to give a little intro of your band that you're so proud of? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Jeremy Kale coming from uh, Mobile, Alabama. Dan Talmadge, all the way from Kansas City. Haven Moltz. Alaska, Mayahoons, Oregon, and Ben from New York City, Buffalo to be exact. Wow, you guys come from all over. That makes for a cool collection of musicians. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've been living in Portland for a while, but you grew up in a very small town in Louisiana on the Mississippi River. I did. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the songs on the record are so amazing, and they create little images in my head that are very, very vivid. And I'm wondering, did the songs come from where you grew up? I mean, what does this record mean for you? And where do these stories come from? Um, these songs came from, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say they came from necessarily like the scenery of, of where I'm from. I don't think, not all of them, I mean, some of them do, but you know, the South kind of like has this sort of blood that runs through it that I feel like kind of comes into the songs, but I don't know, most of the songs happened in, Bedrooms and bars, I think. The life that you've lived? There's some crazy <laughs> sure. stories there. <laughs> yeah, and the road, you know. I'm curious how you um, made the record. I heard that you took a couple cracks at it, ended up making it in your laundry room. <laughs> um, yeah, down in, down in a, basically moved to Portland and tried recording it there and just sort of ran out of money, you know, living there. And... <laughs> It's, it's hard to run out of money living under a pool table like I was, but I did run out of money. Wow, well, that's and a story so, right there. But it, at the same time, you know, we were um, actually, me and Meha and Haven were tracking it, and I, it just wasn't, you know, turning out like the right way. And the, I would have stayed, you know, had it been different. But um, yeah, went down, stayed in my friend's laundry room, and tracked it there. In um, Louisiana? Yeah, in Shreveport, Louisiana, which is kind of where the album and most of it took place, I would say. 
And then you went back to Portland and worked with some good friends of ours, Benjamin and Brandon, of the Helio Sequence. And yeah, those guys are great. They are yeah. great. And what did they do with the with you on that? Well, they, they initially they mixed it, and then by the time we were through, they were through mixing it. You know, it sounded great, but we were like, oh, maybe we should like retrack a few things. So we retracked just a few things, like the bass, because um, the bass sounded horrible, and because of the quality of it. I played it through like a kind of really janky guitar amp. And so it sounded weird. And so they were like, ah, let's retract that. And, you know, retract a few things. And then that was it. Yeah. And you're presenting these songs live with quite a large band. But you made most of the record yourself. Is that right? That is right, yeah. OK. Mm. Yeah. So it must be fun to bring all these people out on tour to it is very fun. I had, you know, when I was recording, and I had the, the band in mind, like what instruments and and everything, and and it, everybody just kind of happened to fall right in, so it worked worked. Ha have great. you been doing much live playing, or are you guys just starting out? I'm curious um, how much you spent, how much time you spent on the road so far with. The <laughs> we've spent zero time <laughs> on the road. Yeah, we've only played in Portland pretty much. We played uh, C uh, Sub Pops birthday party here in Seattle, but that's the only out of town thing we've done so far. But we're going on tour in May with the Fruit Bats, so okay. that'll be Wow, well fun. you sound amazing for a band that hasn't <laughs> toured yet at all. We are so happy to have you here today. It's Kyle Craft live on KEXP. What have we got for us next? All right, this is called uh, Lady of the Ark. <laughs> of what you used to be dozing in the back of a funeral car and tangled in the blankets of your memory so why why did i waste you
Everybody one by one And though she's moving faster Still he's blowing past her Naked with his eye toward the morning sun But your world wild I've seen it And he left you sick When you loved him the most So now you're done Defeated Torn between the
That was magnificent. Kyle Kraft live on KEXP. I can't believe I forgot to mention or ask you about your voice. That is the first thing that caught my attention when I heard a Kyle Kraft song. Literally stopped me in my tracks. <laughs> it is so powerful and just- Obnoxiously <laughs> abrasive. <laughs> it's very loud. It's so clear though. It's interesting because it's raspy, but it's clear. Is that something you always knew you could do or a style that you developed? Um, I, I always sing kind of, you know, kind of loud, I think, it was, you know, I always sing kind of loud. It's interesting because in a number of interviews, I've heard you say that Bob Dylan is your favorite singer and you're clearly not trying to emulate him. I'd say more lyrically, you tell stories the way he does. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. The, uh, I, vocally, I'm not sure exactly who would, I mean, I would say like John Lennon too is a big well, early on was a really big influence on the way I sang. Um, when I was a kid, you know, like really young, I was like into like Guns N' Roses, which is really funny. And maybe that's why I sing so high and loud. But uh, after that, you know, got in, got real deep into like Dylan. And maybe that just carried over or something. I don't know. There's a little bit of all that in there. But I, I, that's, you know. I, that's what feels good. I think that's why I sing that way. It's it, just kind of what feels good. It looks like it feels good <laughs> to <laughs> sing, and it feels great to hear it. Thank you all so much. It sounds great. And Kyle Kraft playing at the Sunset tonight in Seattle. And oh, yeah. the new record, Dolls of Highland, on Sub Pop Records. Mm -hmm. So you're in the family now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be hanging out in Seattle a good bit. I can't wait to see you again. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for having us very much. Kyle Kraft live on KEXB Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.